their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone. This is Twist Gaming. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And this is Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster, where you guys control one of the characters, roll a bunch of dice, make some bad decisions, eat a lot of bugs, and uh, try to kill me. That seems to be the running thing going on right yeah. now. You die automatically now, though. I know. You uh, have, you have the hope stealer. First and foremost, Josh, what happened last episode on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? Uh, we fought DPK, and we won. We lost a few people, though. You died. I, yeah, thanks. Because of your spear. Yeah. It's just so magical. And then um, Headless Lord ran off and decided he wanted to go be friends with the monsters. He wanted to play with the poop ball. He wanted to play with the poop ball. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, to uh, the DBK when we meet him again, because that's what we're fighting again. So, yeah, we voted in the pre-stream, and you guys voted to fight the DBK, just barely. Brothers Murph are here. Hi, Brothers Murph. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, but we are fighting the Dung Beetle Knight, and he's going to get some modifications based off of... Go ga Gotta go have a great stream. Bye. <laughs> uh He's going to uh, get some uh, plus modifiers based off of the one that ran off to him. But the good news is that you all have the Mercy Disorder. What? Do we all get Mercy Disorder? I don't know. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, I think we all did get... Did we all get Mercy? I don't have Mercy. I mean, I died. So there's that. I, I didn't add Mercy. All right, we got Pity, I thought. Yeah. Um... I don't have it over here. It should be on there. Pity? Yep. And what is pity? So, pity. You also spelled it wrong. You put two T's in yours. Whatever. Do you know what I meant? You feel bad for picking on the monster. When the monster is down to half health or less, reduce your speed to one and minus four from your accuracy. Because you don't have the heart to injure it further. You oh. cannot attack knockdown monsters or when you're in the blind spot. Oh, that's ugly. Uh, if you suffer a severe injury, negate pity until the monster suffers a persistent injury of its own. Oh, that's mean. Yep. So does everyone have that except for me? Um, you don't have it either. Right? Return and survivors only got it. Okay. So you so don't have it. So one of my characters doesn't have it. The other one does. Which character of yours doesn't have it? Uh, French Onion. Which has Green. is the bow build? Yeah, the bow build. Okay. Which... So, all right. So I think we're ready to begin. Josh, is there anything else that we needed to do back at the settlement? Uh, no, we got. I, we did all our endeavors and all that pre-stream. We so made a wisdom potion. We made some a baby. Potion. We made babies. A uh, baby. We made baby. A uh, baby. Just baby. Just baby. We made baby. Uh, so I'm gonna switch over baby to spice. The yes, I'll allow it. Switch over <laughs> to the board cam now. <laughs> And uh, this is us here. We're going to be fighting that DBK level one, but modified level one. And uh, I'm going to go first. Josh is going to go second and third. And Twitch, you guys are going to go fourth. And yeah, there's always stuff to give us disorders. Nothing in the settlement right now, I don't believe. Uh, but we can get do it to it. So first up, uh, Josh, remember that you were going for your fish and tooth specialization. So I, don't I, don't know I if punched last time. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Baby, as kids, we're going to need a D108 to be rolled. So, chat, please roll a D108. Mmm, <coughs> baby spice. Thank good you're man goodness you're making it with real babies. So, Josh, remind everyone why it's a D108. Because chat adds stuff to the game. So, we have eight custom hunt events that chat added through the stream element store. And that's the link right there. And what did they roll? A uh, 68. I know what you're going to say, but Josh, what's a 68? A one less than a 69. Yeah, I saw that one coming a mile away. All right. So this one was Lil O Me. And I don't remember what but a 68 was. But it's not an 86. I don't remember what a 68 was. A familiar face. Uh, each survivor rolls a D10 with the lowest scoring survivor becoming the straggler. So everyone, please roll a D10. Oh, good. You remember the dice. 
I rolled a 10. I rolled a 2 and a 6. Come on, Abomination Hunt event. Oh, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> abomination is a settlement event. Uh, chat rolled a 7. Uh, so French Onion is the uh, straggler. straggler. Okay, so while examining the stone's faces underfoot, French Onion recognizes the face of a fallen friend. Bittersweet memories reduce them to tears, reduce their insan- insanity to zero. They gain plus one understanding. I have no insanity, so... Um, you just cry like a little baby. Zero. High, High speed, speed internet. internet. Yeah. So uh, please sponsor us. Burp, 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 burp. Are they around anymore? I don't know, but if they have any budget left, they should sponsor I us. I feel like it. if they have any money left, they're using <laughs> it to try and pay some employees that are still there for some reason. Oh, goodness. Uh, so next up, Josh, is your first character, which is whom? I thought Twitch went first. So it would be you. No, I, I went first, which is going last. Oh, okay. Uh, then it's to Ramen. All right. So you've got the abandoned resin ball. You spot a large spherical object covered in flora resting at the base of a small valley. Your lantern light catches a glimpse of a face on it. You may descend and investigate. If you do, gain plus one courage and roll a d10. Are you uh, investigating? I'm going s- to investigate. Do I have... No. Don't. I have matchmaker, which is nice. Uh, seven. Seven. Along the ball's inner walls, you find rows of beautiful drawings. If the settlement had innovated pictographs... Nope. Uh, okay. Otherwise, gain plus one understanding. Okay. Are you not maxed out on understanding? Nope. That's good. Then. I need a little bit more. Okay, so that's going to go over to here. Uh, and we're going to go... And next up, we've got who? Uh, French onion. It's French onion time who's going to be doing a sudden rumbling, and that is you hear a low rumbling and suddenly see an enormous ball rolling right towards you. Roll a d10. Quickly, roll a d10. But, but I have to choose if I want to stand my ground or run away. No, no. No. What? No, that's not a choice. Roll a d10, damn it. I uh, rolled a seven. Is that equal to or lower than your courage? Uh, I have no courage. So it's greater than your courage. Yes. So you dive away. Okay. So now roll a d10. Now I roll a different d10? Yes. A four. Uh, the ball clips you. Suffer two event damage to your arms. Okay. I don't know why that was so difficult for you to process. I don't know. My, my brain's half off. All right. So that's the end of that hunt event. We're going to go per 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 and it's going to be Twitch's turn. So, Twitch, you know the drill. Roll that D108. Surprised they didn't add any bugs to the showdown. Yeah, no bugs. It's a bug-free show. Well, there's one bug for the, the Dung Beetle Knight, right? Josh needs a reboot, Matt. I, I, no. <laughs> um, and they rolled a 58. Josh, what's a 58? Uh, 10 less than the 50 68 we rolled before. Sent on the wind. Uh, a strong wind blows, bringing with it sense of a distant place and things. The event revealer rolls a d10. Chat, please roll d10. Uh, I would like to take pictures of your Tortuga. <laughs> API error. <laughs> <laughs> why, why does it say API error? I don't know. And they rolled a three. So the monster catches your scent. It moves one space closer. If the movement starts to show down, the monster ambushes the survivors. Yay. Unless someone wants to re-roll that. Ba-dum, ba-dum, All right, so I think we're going to start setting that up then. Yeah, let's, let's get to it. Let's do it to it. Oh, boy. So that wasn't a great hunt. I mean, it didn't start out terrible, but the fact that we're getting ambushed is uh, not that good. So, Josh, remind me of what happens when we are ambushed. Uh, ambushed? Uh, Masha's going to go twice, and then we go. That's icky. So we can get beat up. We're going to get really beat up. Okay. Uh, what terrains do we need? Uh, we're going to need one resin dung ball terrain card. We're going to need two stone columns and one bug spot terrain card. So it's not completely devoid of bugs, but there's less bugs than we normally have. Okay. And then the survivors are all going to start back here. And, Josh, I'll let you set up where you think that we should go. And so the resin dung ball is going to go up there. So you could smile at the camera for everyone. Everyone wants, likes to see a nice smiling poop. Matt, you didn't get a bug patch. Uh, no, I did not. Can you go and grab a bug patch? 
Thanks, Josh. Or, and then you could talk about these in a minute. Uh, wouldn't it need to move to our space to ambush? Yeah, that it was going to move into our space. Okay. Or we are on the showdown board. And Matt hadn't like moved us into like the space we are, and he pulls the card first. So that's what would have happened because the next space was was him. Yep. Uh, I have hibernate disabled because it's pointless compared to sleep or shut down on an SSD. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, so then D gets to go there. Josh, can you fill up my water glass? Thank you. Thank you. Gonna go there. And then D's is gonna go there. Is that right? I think that's right. That's close enough to being right. Oh, Fancy Bug! It's Fancy Bug. I love Fancy Bug. He's my favorite. Yeah, fancy Bug. All right, so then, in the meantime, let's show off some of the cards that the monster is going to start with. Uh, first up, we've got Separation Anxiety. Uh, while the resin is not... I'm sorry, while the monster is not adjacent to the resin dung ball, it is separated and gains, gains that uh, status. So if an AI or hit location has that status, only apply those actions, effects, or special rules. Otherwise, ignore them. So that one's fairly straightforward. Then we've got Power Forward. So if the ball is not adjacent to the monster, do not perform the card. Uh, if it is, then pick a target. For the Stinky Survivor, Random Survivor, Flow, turn to face a target and perform Baller. Move the ball two d10 spaces towards the target. On collision, any survivor suffers five damage to monster level hit location. So one hit location. Then full move the monster towards the ball. Then we have Ground Pound which is the monster slams the ground, precisely altering the network of prepared tunnels. It seems to me that ambush wouldn't apply since we still needed to move one to reach it. No, because uh, the monster was directly in front of us. We would still need to move one, but the text said that the monster would move one space towards us, which would then effectively move it into the same spot as us, uh, which would trigger the ambush. Uh, and then vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces towards the monster. On collision, any survivors suffer 5 damage to monster level hit locations. And then last up, we've got Baller. Uh, so Baller the monster spins the ball around itself with tremendous force. All survivors in the red zone indicated above suffer collision with the resin dung ball. Archive all destructible terrain in the red zone. Place the resin dung ball in front of the monster. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All righty then. Microphone on. Don't I live my life? Uh, I know people really don't want to hear you, but so if you could please place us as you see best fit. Where do we go? In these spots here. Four, five, six. No. You're too far away. That, that's okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, that was a fast reboot for Josh. No, we were one away from the monster. Because technically when you go to do that uh, hunt event, you move into that space to do the hunt event. You have to complete the hunt event in order to move past it. Yeah. I just didn't physically move us onto that spot. He grabbed the card off of it. He didn't Yeah. move the miniatures onto it. All right, so I think we are ready to begin. Well, it's a monster that's ready to begin. So who is monster controller first, Josh? Uh, Ramen is because it's selected. Uh, all right, so turn that top hit location up, too, just so we can see that. So we've got the feculent drumming. Um, so that, that sounds yummy. Uh, do not perform this card. So he's still performing it. So I'm sorry, at the beginning of his action, he's doing power forward. Yep. So remind me again what power forward is. This is going to be the furthest stinky survivor. So that is going to be a tie between me and Green. Does Green have... Green's not stinky, are they? Green's not stinky. Okay, so it's going to attack me. That's, that's good. Um, so turn to face the target and perform baller. So he's going to spin the ball and put it in front of him. Move the ball 2d10 spaces through the target. 
should I dash here? Probably. I'm going to dash. One, two, three, four, five. That's not mine. Judge, please reduce my survival by one. I only have two left, so it's not something I want to keep doing. All right, and they rolled a five and a six, so it's going to go 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, just, just enough. Thank you. All right, ben. and then full move the monster towards the ball. So, Josh, please move the monster six bases towards the ball. So, what plus stats did the monster get, Josh? Uh, he has plus two damage. Okay. Plus one evasion. Okay. Minus one movement. Okay. Oh, I should put up a contest of who's going to get the final blue. Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Uh, and then we'll perform his AI card. Um, what was his AI card, Josh? That one in your hand right now. Feculent Drumming. <coughs> and this is going to be, uh, since he's not adjacent to the ball, do not perform this card. Instead, perform Ground Pound and then a basic action. So what is Ground Pound, Joshua? Uh, so, ground pound. Uh, does the ball count as a separate final blow option? Um, no, it's the same as the Dung Beetle Knight. Uh, so, ground pound, the monster slams a network of ground. Uh, all survivors adjacent to the monster suffer bash. So, you probably didn't want to move the monster to the uh, you did. Red ignores bash. So, per Twitch gets knocked down. So, can I have a knockdown marker? Uh, the vibrations create a natural ramp. Move the ball 1d10 spaces closer to the monster. And then on collision, any survivor suffers five damage to monster level hit locations. <coughs> and they rolled an eight. One, two, three, four, five. So it's adjacent to him. So then his basic action is going to be the closest knockdown survivor. Uh, so he's attacking Twitch. So he needs to roll three D10s. Uh, he didn't get any plus accuracy, right? Nope. So it is a three plus to hit. Twitch has one, two, uh, s seven evasion. So it is a ten to hit them. That's a lot. Uh, so four, seven, nine. That's no hits. And then full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. He's already adjacent to the resin dung ball, so he's not going to move. So that's the end of the monster's turn. But it's can I have the AI card, please? Still the monster's turn. Yeah, can I see power forward real quick? No. Um, why? Why? Okay, I could dash in that. Yeah, flow. there's okay. the day of flow. All right, so that's the end of monster's turn, but it's now the monster's turn again. Yep. So, Josh, can I have the next AI card, please? Mm, he's gonna do power forward first. Still on the next AI card. So, power forward is gonna be the furthest stinky survivor. Is that still me? So d the columns stop the ball. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dash behind the column, I guess. So I'm down to one friggin' survival, which is awful. Awful, 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 awful. All right, so chat, please roll two D10s. He's going to roll the, di the, the ball. The ball. First, it's going to go <laughs> and hit Twitch. That is true, uh, because it's doing the baller. So what happens? Give me ball or two. Give me all the actions. Uh, so baller is all survivors in the red zone indicated above the survivor suffer, suffer collision with the resin dung ball. That's it. He just gets knocked no damage. Down. No, no damage. Um. So then he is going to kick the ball with power forward. That's going to go 11 spaces. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and stop there, right? Yep. Okay. So I think it stops adjacent to it. Like it bumps into it and just stops there. Okay. And destroys it. So then this is going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So he's adjacent to it. And then we need to draw the next AI card. So Josh, can I have an AI card, please? And that would be the closest knockdown survivor. So that's Twitch. Okay. He's going to run over to them. Six. 
And he's going to attack for 3d10s again. And again, it's a 10. Okay. And then he's going to do a basic action. Yeah. He's just going to beat him Twitch. Yeah. Thank God they have 10 evasion. Right? Or 7 yeah. evasion. But, you know, for this case here, they've got a buttload of evasion. Uh, 8, 4, 5. So nothing. But then a basic action. And a basic action is going to be three more d10s. And then he's going to run back to his precious, precious ball of poop. And then we get to go. My precious. My precious. That's a four, one, and a five. No hits. Full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. Goes there. That's the end of our turn. It's now, or the end of the monster's turn, rather, and it's now our turn. So Twitch gets to stand back up. I don't know why you this to me. Because I felt like it. Don't question it. All right. Uh, Twitch can crit, right? Uh, yeah, they are a critter. All right, uh, they should hit it. All right, so they're going to go one, two, three, four, five. They can't attack the butt because of pity, right? Yeah, they can't attack the butt because of pity. So they have to dash. Okay. Or they can go there. Where were they? Right there. Here? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. No, they can yeah. just move there. Yeah, okay. Uh, so they need to roll... Four d tens. So four it's a lot of dice. Yeah, it's a lot of dice. Uh, so four d tens. Their weapon has five plus accuracy. They have seven natural accuracy. So they head on two plus. Yeah, e- despite the monsters one evasion. Uh, they also get minus four evasion. Or is that natural? That's, that's no, after that's the monsters got half. Oh, yeah. So that's a seven, a four, a four, and a seven. So that's four hits. No trap plus. No trap card. No trap plus. Okay. Okay. Oh, so let's talk about their weapon a little bit. They've got the riot mace. So if they crit, the monster's stuck doing basic actions. Then the weapon has five strength. Dung Beetle Knight has 12 toughness. So that's a delta of seven right there. But they have 12 natural strength. So it's, again, it's a two plus so that they don't wound. Now let's talk about crits. The weapon's deadly, so that gives them one luck. They have a lucky charm, activated, so that's two luck. They have a sleeping virus flower, that's three luck. And they have two natural luck, that's five luck. So five plus crits for them. Okay. Oh, these reactions are horrible. Is it ho- as horrible as your heavy breathing? No. Okay. That's that's good then. That's that's not that bad. So, which one do you think they should attack first? Yeah, that one. that is a lot of luck. So, first up, they're attacking the iridescent breastplate. So, chat, you know the drill. Roll a d10. So if they wound here, the monster's going to get knocked back three directly away from the attacker. So what do they wound on, and what do they... Two plus to wound, five plus to crit. Okay. Yeah, that is some new game plus silliness right there. And a ten. Now for crit. crit. Uh, with a sickening crunch, a hairline fracture shoots across the monster's thick chest. The attacker gains one survival and one insanity, and the monster gains a minus one toughness token. Nice. <coughs> They're at max survival, so that doesn't help. But they got insanity. Oh, there is a bug on the board. We'll have you guys start moving after it, after this. Uh, so they're up one insanity or yep. down one insanity? Up. Up one, so that's seven insanity. Mm-hmm. And the monster gains a minus one toughness token. So that's that. Josh put mm-hmm. reduced the monster's life total by one. That Dunk Beetle Knight looks like a lion. Yep. Weird. Because I forgot to add a thing to it. Um. Next up, what are we attacking? Come on, Josh. Come on, Eileen. Do, 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 the iridescent arm. Roll a d10. This is more monster, like, getting knocked back. Why are you doing the weird ones? Why are you trying to knock the monster back? I'm trying to kill it. No, there's no one. You're, you get knocked back on a wound. Why would you want them to get knocked back? This is they get knocked down. This is they get thrown to the ball and take it's five a damage. Crit, anyways. It's a crit. Uh, so if the attacker is three plus courage, uh, no. No, they don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, really don't care if they did that. Yeah. It they actually don't want them to do that because they can't attack a knockdown monster. So, yep. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one and give me the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. Also, we probably should have... Oh, uh, they... I'm going to change their uh, weapon specialization because they finally have two uh, hunt XP. Okay. So, I'm going to make it uh, club. club. They're going clubbing. And they're attacking the Filthy Claws. 
So chat, roll one more d10. So if you d if you don't crit it, the monster's going to ground pound. So you're going to get knocked down. If you do crit it, some stuff happens. Stuff and things. Things and stuff. What's the cheat counter for? That's a one. That's a failure. That is a failure. Uh, so go ahead and uh, that, that just don't do anything. Uh, so the monster's going to perform ground pound, so Twitch is going to get knocked down. But they'll get up again. Just, yeah. just the ball is going to roll to the monster, which is already next to them, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. And let me just uh, double check. So, yeah, that's it. It's not going to move. Okay. All right, so. Matt, do you want to push the ball? Yeah, I'm going to go kick the ball. And I need to roll a d5. Yep. Ooh, five. One, two, three. Break. Yep. Whatever. All right. And uh, Josh, what are you doing with your characters? Besides can crying. I can I snipe with green? Uh, yeah. You just have to move a little closer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's move right there. Well, I can do that. Now, pew, pew. What in the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. I rolled a, I rolled a nine. That's a hit. It's a hit. So what are you hitting, Josh? Uh, I'm hitting uh, his back. Uh, the iridescent back. So it's not a hairy back. It's a colorful back. I have back. two natural strength. Okay. My weapon has six strength, so that's eight. Mm -hmm. He's got a toughness of 11, so that's three plus the wound. Okay. But I have one, two, three luck. Seven plus the crit. Seven plus the crit. Okay. Nine. That's nine. That's crit. If the settlement has pottery. We don't. Okay. That's it. We eat the bug. Hello, Ice Chamber. And then what are you doing with red, Joshy? So that's a wound. It is a wound. So we did the first two wounds were to the extra two health he had because he had extra two health. So this is going to be the first AI card discarded. Okay. Uh, red can... How close is red? What? Not safe for work chat filters are on. Is it on? I know chat Twitch added them, but I don't didn't realize they're on. That's dumb. I want all the dirty language in our chat. Fix it, Josh. I don't even know how. I saw it. Oh. No, it says it's off. Yeah, Dark Citadel wrote naughty stuff. No, I had the option to turn them on. Oh. Oh. Oh, so you can turn them on for your personal chat. Yeah. Okay. It's a personal side of nice. Oh, okay. Um, so I can't hit him in the blind spot. So for me to get over there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can't get there. Can't, can't get there. You can't do it, Captain. You just don't have the power. I forgot. You have a tactics card. You have a tactics card? Would have been good for the beginning when we're getting beat up. But some people just don't be mean. Uh, we have a tack pattern. Uh, it's a level one. So at the start of the sh uh, survivor's turn, you may declare that you are using an attack pattern and decide an order for survivors to attack the monster. Survivors gain the following bonuses for their first attack as long as the order is followed and each survivor hits at least once. So first survivor gets nothing, second survivor gets plus two strength, third gets plus three, fourth gets plus four. If any survivor's attack out of order fails to hit, the attack pattern is over. I think all of us have enough strength to be a two plus. Yep. Yeah, so like we're pretty good. So. Like, everyone's got ridiculous strength, and then I've got the stupid Spear of Death. Yep. Yeah. Um, so what are you doing with Red? With Rojo? Red's going to move six spaces closer. Six? Yes. I get one free movement at the end of my act. Ah. Or my little boots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to toss up my shield. Why don't you just hold it up? I'm going to toss it. You're just going like to like frisbee it into the air? Yeah. Yeah, I've got the Suicide Spear. What is this, some sort of suicide spear? Uh, so that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from ramen to French onion. That's such a delicious sentence. And uh, why Technically did you bring the dice spear? You know we are low on population. Because Josh made me. We made a po We just made population for Matt. Just to We're going to crank out a baby a year just so I can sacrifice them and use them with the, <laughs> the death spear. Uh, just like a newborn in the battleground that like they hold a spear and they turn into like a ravished monster and then they're just going to... And we only have newbies, so, like, we don't have anyone good to... Yeah, like, the other person would have been 
useless. If I if I didn't bring the the pokey stick of death, it would have been pointless. Yeah. Uh, so now the monster is going to perform uh, power forward. Uh, but the ball is not next to him. The ball is not next to him, so he's not going to perform the card. Okay. And then he's going to be relegated to his basic action because the kitty go bonk hammer. Yep. Hit him. Uh, so the basic action is going to be this bad boy here. So the closest knockdown survivor, which is, hey, it's Twitch. Uh, so we're going to need 3d10s to be rolled, and they hit you on a 10. They could they could have stood up at the beginning of the turn. That it was an option. It's probably best for them not to, though, because they can just be like, look at me, I'm laying on the ground, but you can't hit me, you big dumb idiot. That's that's what they say. I'm pretty sure. Uh, nine, five, and three. No hits. No hits. And he doesn't go back to the ball. Yeah, it does. He it's does. the end of the card side. Oh, never mind. And then he goes back to the ball. Because he loves it. He loves it. And so that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay. So I'm assuming Twitch is going to start running towards the bug, but they can actually do a drive-by of the DBK on their way to said bug. Yeah, I think I think they should hit the DBK as they walk that way towards the board. So they could dash and go over here, and then next turn they'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces away, and then they can dash next turn to get the bug. Well, that's, that's an option. I mean, considering that they've got rawhide armor, I think that they should. Sure. And they've got burning focus, so they should be burning through their survival. So if they dash, let's roll a d10 to see if they regain their survival. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they'd be over here. Shank and Run is actually also the name of my garage band. Do you know what instrument I play? The Shank? <laughs> Yes. Uh, they rolled a one, so they lose their survival. So, Josh, please reduce their survival by Uno. So they're down to six. And now they're going to roll four D10s. This is a little nerve wracking. The monster does have m one evasion. I don't know if that makes a difference. No, though. not at all. They have seven accuracy. Okay. Seven. Just, just checking. The weapon's a five plus. They've got seven accuracy. So they're, they're fine. And. People roll. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Who is Roland? Uh, they rolled a seven, four, three, nine. That's four hits. Trap card. Trap card. Trap card. No trap card. Which one are we attacking first, Josh? Is there a good one? Is there a not bad one? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Knock out. Oh, the hero of a clever shield to get plus four strength to win this. Th not that they need it even a little bit. So what are they attacking first? I need some luck on my dice. Uh, this one is perfect to hit. I want them to actually not crit it. Okay, so they're attacking the filthy face. Now, why are you saying you don't want them to crit it? Uh, look at the wound effect. Cancels all reactions until the end of the attack. That would be nice. So ideally here, you want between a two and a four. <laughs> it's harder for them to not crit than it is to crit. It is. I mean, if they crit, it's still good. That's that's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. So they hit it. Uh, monster's going to suffer minus four toughness uh, until the end of the attack, which is kind of inconsequential here. Uh, but the important thing is he's going to cancel all reactions. So, Dan, what's up next, Josh? Perry, they can only crit this. They can only crit this location. So now we want a 5-plus for this one. But they don't have to worry about the failure if they don't crit. The bash and knockback. Yep. Seven. I can see the benefit in that. I, I think. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And they rolled a 4. Not enough. It is. Close. Uh, they, they can't crit, though. Okay, so that's the end of that. Next up, what are they attacking? They're attacking the iridescent leg. So one more D10. Come on. So n again, the failure action means nothing. <coughs> Giving the monster a minus one move would be pretty nice because then the monster's stuck with the same movement that we have. Hopefully you won't be able to reach his ball all the time. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 And a three. That's still a wound. Still a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. 
And what's the last one? The last one is the side of the resin ball. So this is an impervious location. Yes. Um, yeah. Your. They rolled a nine. That's a crit. a crit. So That's your attack orange. luckily spins the ball, crashing into no. it. The monster gains plus one survival. So Josh, please increase their survival by one back up to seven. Okay. And then the monster's knocked down. Okay. But it's impervious, so they don't do a wound. Right. Okay, so I'm going to... Hmm. So they crit. So the monster's going to do a basic action. Mm-hmm. I'm going to run and kick the ball. Don't kick the baby. Kick the baby. Two. That's just enough? Just enough. It's, just not, just it's enough. not next to him. Okay. So then, what are you doing with your characters there, Josh? I'm going to snipe with green. Snipe. Can so I get close enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a really dumb question when you have the sniper boat, Josh. It's how many do I need to move to get close <laughs> enough? That's a five. That's a hit. So what are you attacking? I hope everyone else attacked before the monster was knocked down, or you'll spend a turn looking at the monster due to pity. Only two characters have pity. Yeah. So uh, one character that has pity is the one that did it, and then red isn't really close enough to attack yep. anyways. So. so the filthy resin sword. I roll. Four. It's a wound still because it's four stat ten. Yeah, that's enough. So uh, he's knocked down, so that ignores the reactions. Yep. So that's good. And then is the monster at half health yet? He started with 13. So is he at he's six? At seven. Okay, so next wound will bring him to half health, which means that the people with pity will get minus four accuracy. Okay. All right. And their speed is reduced to one. Yes. All right. So then red. What are you doing with red? Let me move a little bit closer. Move a little bit closer. You're my kind of girl. Because I can't hit him. So big and so strong. Yeah. So I'm just going to move closer and I'll throw up my shield again. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's now... Can you move me six spaces or five? Uh, five. Uh, yeah, you can move me six. So now, because it's the end of the monster... The uh, end of our turn is the monster's turn. Monster's going to stand back up. Monster control is going to pass from ramen to beep. Uh, the monster is not going to perform baller. He's not going to perform power forward. He's not going to draw an AI card. He's going to perform a basic action, which is going to target the closest knockdown survivor, which is no one, then the closest threat in range, which is Twitch. Twitch. So you can roll 3d10s, and I think that you guys are probably just going to laugh at the monster's face again, because the funny thing here is that you still have the survival to dodge one, and you also have fencing, so you have the potential to dodge two. So, yeah. Uh, one's a ten, so we need a d10 to be rolled for fencing to see if you just get a free block, or parry. Or whatever it's called. And that's a six, so they parried away. All right. So, Matt, we could do something interesting here. Hold on. The monster's got to move. Yeah. Uh, have him go forward two spots. One, two. Twitch gets knocked back five. One, two, three, four, five. So they're closer to Mr. Bug? Yeah. That works out. And they're knocked down, but they'll get up at the beginning of their turn. So, so you're, what you're saying is they're knocked down, but they'll get up again. You're never going to keep them down. I don't know why you're using a giant one on them, but okay. Because it's closer. Don't give me the attitude. All right, so that's the end of the monster's turn, just like that. And yep. now it's our turn. So uh, Twitch is going to go get that bug. They're going to stand up, and they're going to be like, it's bugging time. Okay. So chat, roll a d10. Let's see what kind of bug you get. I hope it's a pretty one. Question for you, Josh. Yeah. Never mind. Dumb question. Not going to ask it. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It's okay. And they rolled a one. An insect with your face stares back at you You s and scutters away. Suffer three brain damage. So they're down to four insanity. Is the... Uh, 
thing still there? Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to go and attack it with red? This is your last chance to attack it without the minus accuracy. I have failed us. At least we didn't die from it this time. That, that's true. Uh, yeah, I'll attack with red because they have a good chance to crit because they have two natural luck. Um, the I'm not even worried about the minus accuracy, really. Um, two, three. I have three luck. Oh, no. Uh, six is a hit. Okay, so what are you attacking? You're attacking the hidden mandibles. His underjaw. The four. And that's a so wound. So, Josh, wound. please reduce the monster's life total by one. Perform ground pound, then perform a basic action targeting the attacker. So you are now knocked down. Black it up again. Never going to keep you down. And he's going to target you. And so that's going to be 3d10s. How much evasion do you have, Josh? Uh, six. So it's going to be a nine plus to hit you. Nine plus to hit the Joshy. Joshy Bear. Gosh, Hello, Narfalik. How are you doing today? And a 10, a 4, and a 9. That's two hits. I do have fence in. Okay. So that's the first one away. Parry one away. And then I will just dodge the other one. That's it. Oh, that's easy enough. Okay. So, Bonster's doing okay so far. Okay. I, uh, doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? We win. Actually, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. We're yeah. actually kind of kicking his ass right now. He hasn't touched us at all. So, uh, am I nine spaces away from the uh, monster map? Uh, are you? Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, but you could move. You'll need to move, move two please? spaces right there. There you go. It's a nine. That's a hit. Okay. And that is the iridescent abdomen. Three. three is that enough? Plus two is five. Plus six is eleven. That is just wow. enough. All right. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I kind of actually wanted the failure. Personally, sad. My Santa Satan didn't have the cube of Atmos and the string card. Oh no! Oh no! That's bad. Um. So the question is, do I want to poke the ball or do I want to just shank him? Poke the ball. So that's three? Yep. One, two, three. All right. So now it's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster controller is going to pass from beep to ramen. Uh, then he's going to do nothing because power forward gets ignored. Uh, then he's going to draw an AI card because no kitty go bonk camera was crit in the making of this film. And he's going to do the invisible layup. So do not perform this card. Instead, perform ground pound and the basic action. So someone please roll a d10 for ground pound, and then he's going to do a basic action, which is going to target you, Josh. <coughs> <coughs> it's the black lung pop. Dirty pop. Okay, so let's see what they roll. Uh, they rolled a 7. Uh, actually, I think ground pound is 2d10s, right? Oh, no, 1d10. 1d10. But 7 still brings it close enough. So it's over there. Uh, he's going to attack red now, so it's 3d10s. And again, Josh, it's going to hit you on a 9+. plus. I can deal. What sound was that? <laughs> oh, no. Wow. That was odd. It's got to squeak that. It's squeaky, squeaky. Squeaky, squeaky. Pass that a squeak, a squawk, a squee, a squeaky to the squeak, squeak, squawk. You don't stop. Rock to the bang, bang, boogie, and that's done. <laughs> uh, it's a four, an eight, and a seven. That's zero hits. Thank you, window licker. No, there's no W in there. It's an E. Oh, it got window. That's, I get it. It's window yeah. licker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I reaching for? I was reaching for something that doesn't exist. Going through second puberty, Josh? No, first puberty, actually. <laughs> he was born with the beard. Right? Be an interesting baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to be the end of the monster's turn. Just like that, it's our turn. Josh, you're going to stand back up with red. Twitch is going to go for their bug first and foremost. I know that's what they want to do. I just know it. Are you sure? Yes. Positive. Yes. 100%. Without a doubt. It's a Yugi Yami showdown. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, they rolled a one. <laughs> rolled a one! You stare into the bug, you see your own face, and it scutters away. Suffer three brain damage. 
Down to one insanity. Oh my. Okay. <coughs> so that that is a thing. Uh, then someone could re-roll it if they wanted. Someone could re-roll it if they really wanted to. Uh, the next time it could kill us. That's actually true. The next time it could kill you guys. Um, Josh, are you doing anything with red? Yeah, red's gonna attack. Boom, 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 boom. With boom, his boom, shield. Boom, boom. Mr. Sandman. Why would the shield? Is minus four accuracy right now, right? Yeah. And any other minus four accuracy, anything? Um, speed's one, right? Yeah. That's it. So I get plus one accuracy. That's a seven plus to hit with the shield. Yeah. The next card gives me plus four strength to wound, and then if I do it, it gives him. Eh, no, I'm just gonna hit it with the. Let's say that was a weird, blade. weird choice. Uh, five plus to hit. At six, that's a hit. Uh, and it wouldn't have been a hit with the shield. Mm. Uh, so you're attacking the Iridescent Helm. And that's a five. Five. That is a wound, but not a crit. All right. And so, Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. How much health does he have left? Uh, he is down t to four health. Ooh, interesting. So, Josh, are you sniper bowing him? Yeah, I, I'm just killing this card. Th um, what what do you mean? It's an impervious card. I can't really. Oh. Yeah, get rid of the card. Just just get rid of it. Snipey snipe. Or I you can or you can do the traditional shot to try and get rid of three things. No, because his movement is still six, and I can't shoot him with that far. Just move closer. What? Just move if his trap. Don't worry about the trap. Don't be a baby. Don't be a little baby. What do I hit on? So I have six plus. Let's I hit on six plus with that. He has one evasion. So seven plus. What are you gonna do? Huh? 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 Sure. Do you? You could also like. Spend some survival to do the devastating thing. Hold on, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna run and stab him first. I'm gonna have some fun with this now. Sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go stab him in the butt. No, I'm gonna take a step back after my attack. Okay. So I roll two d10. Actually, I was at Jason's room, so I can move wherever I want. Who's Jason? Move two space. Uh, no hits. Cool. Sure, move me within range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. There. That was a great roll, Matt. Seven plus the hit. Yep. Two hits. Yep, two hits. Eight, seven, six. And what are you attacking first? Hmm, 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 hmm. Do this one first. Okay, so first up is the filthy wings. So take these filthy wings. Two, four, six, eight. Ten. Who do we appreciate? Not enough. Not enough. Failure. Turn to face directly away from the attacker. Um, I guess I'll do that. All survivors in the blind spot suffer knockback seven, which is no one. Then what are you attacking? The side of the resin. Then. Your attack luckily spins the ball, crashing it into the monster. Gain one survival. The monster is knocked down. Oh my god, really? Both of my one of my attacks would have hit at least. And it's trap card. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. So now it's the end of our turn. It's the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from ramen to French onion. And he's going to perform a uh, baller. So he's performing power forward, which is pick a target, furthest stinky survivor. Twitch. So Twitch is indeed stanky. Um, are you dashing? Um, why? Because uh, you're going to get hit with baller. But that's fine. Apply damage to a hit location. I can actually yeah. take that. I don't, I don't care. Um, so he's going to perform baller, so that hits me. So what happens? I get knocked back seven. Five, uh, five. five. No, you just get knocked down. Because he's going to face the attacker. 
ball is going to swing around him. Uh, and so you stay where you are. You just knock down. Okay. So I need the knockdown marker. It's right here. So I'm knocked down. I'm going to take five damage to a hit location. You don't need to shuffle that much, by the way. Can I have a hit location die, please? No. Uh, are we doing the stanky leg to entice the bug to come out of the patch? You could be. Do the stanky leg. Uh, so I'm going to take five damage to my body. So Josh, please reduce my armor by uh, four, and I'm going to take a light to the body. All right, and then uh, uh, you're going to toss the ball. Two D10s. Is Twitch going to stay where they are, or are they going to dash away? I don't think they're leaving their bug patch. But they can just walk back to it. Like It's five That's movement. true. They probably should dash away from it. So go ahead and move them five away. I'll have them roll to see if their survival stays later. They rolled a nine. So, Josh, please move the ball nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They crushed the bug. Is it destructible terrain? No, it's not destructible. Okay. Um, so then he's going to full move towards the ball. So please move the monster six spaces closer to the ball. Can you do that, please? They rolled a one. So uh, reduce their uh, survival, survival by one. By one. There, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, no, Mr. Poop, I miss you. That would be really sad if it was destructible. And so then the monster's gonna draw an AI card. And he's going to do the feculent drumming. So it's not adjacent. So he's gonna do ground pound. So roll a d10 for ground pound. And then he's going to perform a basic action. Shit. Hmm. Huh. Take. What are you doing? It's flying. Uh, a one. It was one space closer to him. <laughs> Still not adjacent to him. Okay. Thank you, Brutus to the max. That's such a 90s, 80s name right there. Uh, so then he's going to come and beat me up. Because I am the uh, closest knocked down survivor. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to roll three d10s. It hits on the three plus. I have a total of one evasion, two evasion. So, it's a five plus to hit me. This doesn't look good for me. Just saying. The dash room had this issue. Uh, it's a. Okay, so it's two hits. Okay. So it's going to... You pulled out a singular die. You asked me for one. Uh, the feet and the waist. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take both of them. So I lose all of my armor at my waist, and I take a light to my feet, lose my four armor there. And then full move the monster towards the dung ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to go over there. And then that's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. So it's our turn. We're gonna, I'm going to stand back up. Josh, I'm assuming you're going to trigger that tarp card. Yeah. Uh, am I out of his range? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you're not. Uh, give me, uh, put me a step back. Okay. And you're going to Rudy Tootie point and shooty? Yep. That's not a hit. Six plus typically. I get plus four accuracy. So it's a two plus. It's two plus, but he has my he has one evasion, so it's a three plus. Do you have no natural accuracy? I have no natural accuracy. <sighs> That's what I think of you, Josh. George is gonna go get their bug. Yeah, go ahead and move them closer. Take these bugkin wings. And I'm gonna check out cards. Yeah. So wing. Bada 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 bada. Swing. If you guys roll a one again. A six. Josh, what's a six? Uh, it's a bug. Give me a bug. Give me a B. B. Give me a U. U. Give me a G. G. Hissing cockroach. You're supposed to say, what's that spell, Josh? What's that spell? Hissing cockroach. Uh, they're not insane, so they don't have to eat it. So that's a nice thing. Uh, so Mr. Bug goes away. Bye-bye, Mr. Fancy Bug. Oh, no, poop So, Matt. Yes? You could check hit locations and bury the trap. Oh, that's true. And Redkin, um, try to attack. Sure, I'm going to do that. 
I'll check the hit locations with my uh, circlet. Cat eye. Really? Circlet. Oh, is it two century carapace? Awesome. Awesome. Everything is awesome. Sure. Everything is cool when you're part of the team. <sighs> Heavy breathing. <laughs> okay, so it's plus six toughness, so it's a toughness of 17. Yes. I have nine natural strength. My weapon has five. So that's it's a 14. 14. So that's three plus. You need three to plus. Uh, that's fine. All right, let me go hit it. Yeah, that's a new count you got to put in, Josh. Dad noises. Next time, like the uh, a thwomp, <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 uh, nine, that's a hit. So I'm gonna start doing every time you <laughs> grunt, I'm just gonna start yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'll make you stop or if it'll encourage you. Uh, the century, should, should be what's a better counter, the die counter or my uh, Muttley laugh counter? <laughs> 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 the the Molly laugh is good. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll. That's, That's five. Enough. Uh, this reaction cannot be canceled. Instead of wounding the monster, archive this card and gain one survival. If you attack with a pickaxe, you don't. That's not its problem. <laughs> <laughs> sound like a retarded seal. I mean, that's what they recorded for the game, right? <laughs> My, I mean, the thwomps really do sound like that. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. They're just like freaking face plomp. I mean, they, they're not the smartest things. They, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> 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 Matt, can we make a video and like translate your face on a womp? <laughs> you make can, <laughs> can that be a new alert video? <laughs> That's that Muttley <laughs> laugh again. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Josh broke himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gerald to see <laughs> That scene was hilarious. Oh, my God. So where are we at now, Josh? Oh. Muttley. Um, I think that's the end of our turn. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So it's now the monster's turn. Monster Control is going to pass from French Onion over to Ramen Freeman. He's not no, going I'm to gonna perform take a step back. power forward. And then he's going to draw an AI card. And he is going to do the invisible layup. But there's no ball atta adjacent to him. So he's going to do a ground pound. And then he's going to do a basic action card. So he's going to attack you still, Josh. But you don't get knocked down because of the ground pound. Yep. Not that it really matters in the grand scheme of things. Not really. So take Borkin <sighs> Wings. Well, a nine. So the ball is definitely going to be close up to him. Uh, and then he's going to turn and face you. Go there. 3D tens. Hits you on a nine plus. How does it make you feel? Okay with that. Are you a little okay with it? Are you a lot of okay with it? Medium okay with it? A banana okay. Banana hammock. Uh, nine, ten, nine. Wow. Seriously, chat? Wow. That's awesome. That's, uh, you, that's, yeah. Three hits for how much damage each? Uh, three hits for, I don't know, hold on. Um, Four, five, six damage each. Body, body, legs. You don't have... Oh, you have a leather armor set. Yeah, I have a leather armor set, so oh. I'm actually all right. I lose... I'm at zero armor on the body. My best rolls are against Josh. I'm going to dodge the second body. Okay. And then how are your legs? Um, I am fine on the legs, too. Really? Yep. That's impressive. I have five armor in each location. So... Take that, Muttley. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The deep south. <laughs> uh, all right. So that is. And then he's going to full move towards the ball, so he's going to take a step back. 
He's doing the electric slide right now. It's electric. Can Josh, can you hit that card? The Sensory Carvels. Um sure. Thank you. Moving a step forward. Two does not wound. Hit. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna take a step up. Back again. Okay. My act. That took you a really long time to say that. Um, so do you want to shoot it? I want you to check hit locations. Why? Put the trap on top so I can just trigger it, and we get a reshuffle. What I was thinking is, you can shoot that now, right? Then Twitch only has one speed. So Twitch can go. So if you shoot it, I can reorganize it, and then hopefully put some good cards on top. Then Twitch can go and do a damage. Pork, 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 you're attacking the sentry carapace. Is that enough? No, it's not. N no, it is. Plus six toughness? Oh, plus six toughness? No, it's not enough. I forgot. I thought it was for hit. So what's the failure say? A uh, failure. This reaction cannot be canceled. You feel hopeless. Lose one survival. You lose survival, Josh. And now I'm going to check the hit locations with my circlet. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And uh, so Slam Dunk is up there. Oh, that's great. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Put that on top there. So it's another Sentry Carapace. Okay. So t actually, no, give me that back. Put Just put the trap card back on top. I'm going to have Twitch kick the poop ball. Okay. Twitch, kick that poop. Or is it move that poop? Move, move that, that poop. poop. Sounds like a really good game show. And by really good, I mean horrible. Can we make that a game show? No. I don't I don't want to. Why? No. <laughs> That's a horrible idea, Josh. You Why? know it. What, what, what would the game show be? Uh, it's the world of four. All right. It's electric. Sounds like it would be on UHF. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen that movie yet, Josh? UHF. Weird Al Yankovic. No, I have not watched you it. You need to watch it. I think someone said it was on Amazon. Roast for five minutes. Rotate the nuts. Roast for another five minutes. Google said that apparently. Oh boy. Uh, so that's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass from. Uh, ra French Onion to Raman Freeman. He is not going to do his power forward. He's going to draw an AI card, and he's going to do the resin plated right. So closest knockdown survivor, which is no one. Closest stinky threat, which is no, nope, that's you. He's gonna go attack you. Roll three d tens, and it's gonna hit you on a nine plus. And then he's gonna do a basic action right after that. So he's gonna beat you up again. It's electric. I don't think it's electric, Matt. Mm, are you sure? So it's an 8, a 10, and an 8. It's almost three hits again. That's it. Okay, so then basic action. He's still attacking you. Still 3d10s. Still hits you on a 9+. plus. A two, a nine, and a six. That's a hit. That's to your legs. You're going to dodge it. Yeah, I'm going to dodge it. All right. So then he's going to full move towards the resin dung ball. Um, I hate to tell you this, Josh, but you're you're going to get knocked down. That's fine. So you, get, you just get knocked down? Yep. Is that all? Okay. That's it. But it's the end of the monster's turn. It's not our turn. So, Josh, you stand back up. If I wasn't the boss, I would have given that monster some accuracy. <laughs> Oh, Why goodness. Are you give me the basic action. I don't know. All right. So then you'll stand back up again because it's our turn now. Yep. 
Do you want to just get rid of the trap card? Yes. I need to be nine spaces away from him. Or out, out of his range. Whatever. Yeah, there you go. It's eclectic. It's a three. That's just enough. Okay. That's good. Just enough. That's good. That's good. All right. So the slam dunk. All survivors are doomed. Full move directly towards the attacker. If the monster is adjacent to the attacker, it picks them up and leaps high into the air. So it moves, full moves towards you. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're knocked down again. Yep. Uh, so I'm kind of useless for the rest of this. Uh, place the monster in any space adjacent to the ball. The attacker suffers. No, he just stays, uh, where, he he just stays where he is. <laughs> okay. Yay. <coughs> that's the end of that. He just got really confused. So now, now we get to beat him up, Josh. How much health does he have left, anyways? Uh, four. Quattro Healtho. It's eclectic. So much shuffling. All the shuffling. Just just never stop shuffling. A, B, S. Always be shuffling. So what's the top card, Josh? Is it the trap card? Century Carabas. All right. You doing anything with Twitch? Twitch actually can't really reach him. Uh, so how much did the bug strain help us this fight? No one got any bugs, so there was just one bug on the There's fight. There's only one so. bug on the board, so not at all. Okay, so Twitch has just enough if they dash to get into the side of him. Okay, let's dash. They have six survival. So let's see if they regain their survival. Uh, no, you, you, guys guys got got the the you guys got the strain last fight. So you have it. There's no one, no one <laughs> any bugs. There was, yeah, there wasn't enough bugs to actually make a difference. We're, we've been over, uh, over farming the bug population. That's ten, so they keep their survival. Then they're going to roll 1d10 because their, uh, their speed drops to 1. So uh, so wait, does their speed drop to 1? It's the speed of their weapon, I'm assuming. It's like they get slow. Yeah, they just get slow. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be a 2 plus for them to hit even still because... Oh, is it though? Hold on. So it's 5 plus. The monster's got 1 evasion, so it's a 6 plus. Then they've got 4 minus accuracy, so it's a 10 plus. Then they've got seven natural accuracy. So it's actually a three plus, not a two plus. They got an eight. That's fine. Uh, they're going to roll 3d tens. That seems like a lot. I'm just saying. So 3d tens, um, plus six toughness to wound this location, plus 2d tens if you're attacking with a club. So they've got 12 natural strength. So it's. And their weapon's got five strength. So it's already a success. It, the first one just can't be a one. Uh, so they wound it. Uh, they gain plus one survival. So they're back at seven. And uh, that's it. There's no one to just archives the card. Yep. So they're back at seven survival. And what's the next one looking like there, Josh? Uh, it's discard and draw a new one because he's not next to his ball. I'm going to take a step forward and I'm going to stab him. You could do it from the blind spot if I you want. I could. I'm going to go punch him in the butt. Stab him in the butt, you mean? No, punch him in the butt with my pitchfork. Uh, so it's two hits, actually. What's next? What, 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 what am I attacking, Joshua? Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. So you're going to discard this, draw a new one. What is it? Do this one first. So that's the Iridescent Helm. So uh, how much strength do I have, Josh? A uh, bajillion. So I just need to not roll a one? Yeah. Okay. I rolled a ten. That's a crit. Uh, you break the monster's horn, gain the Iridescent Horn Dung Beetle Knight resource. Persistent injury, broken horn, affects some AI cards. This is what I do for you guys. I got his horn. His lower horn. His human horn. Uh, so, requires scarification. You can spend an endeavor to do the horn ceremony. Archive and roll a d10. One through four, your brain is punctured and you die. H5 plus brain stimulation. Gain the benefits of H1 and H2 without gaining hunt XP. Brain simultaneous uh, stimulation ignores the once per lifetime rule on the age story event. Ghost horn. 
So then now I'm attacking the iridescent breastplate. And let's see what I roll here. That's a two. That's a wound. The monster stumbles backward. It suffers knockback three directly away from the attacker. So it's going to go one, two, three. Uh, if the attacker is adjacent to another survivor, I'm not. That's it. Now he isn't so hung, now that you got his lower horn. His human horn. It's an aphrodisiac. Great on pasta. And that's going to be the end of our turn. It's going to be the monster's turn now. Monster control is going to pass from Robin Freeman over to bleep. And uh, let's not going to do power forward. He's going to draw an AI card. This is his last AI card? Yep. So his last one is the feculent drumming. He's going to do ground pound and a basic action. So let's roll a d10. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, green's going to be knocked down, Josh. Okay. 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 have them. I don't know what you're doing. No, you gave me oh. one. Uh, so that's going to go one, two, three, four, five. So it's it's next to the monster. And now he's going to do a basic action targeting the closest knockdown survivor. So that's going to be green. So he's just going to turn. He's going to roll three d10s. How much evasion does green have? Uh, one, two evasion. Green's going to die possibly. Five plus to hit you there for six damage per hit. That's rough. That's bad, Joshua. That's bad. Bad. Uh, it's a 10, a 7, and a 9. It's three hits. Six damage each. What did you roll? Body, body, hands. Is that each one is a severe injury? Yep. I'll dodge the hands. Oh, hold on. Dodge the body. Dodge the body? Yeah. All right, so... I'm still standing better than ever did. All right. So first I'll roll for the body. It's a nine. Collapsed lung. You can't catch your breath. Gain minus one movement token and gain a bleeding token. Next up is for the hands. The arms. One. Die of shock. Your vision fades along with the sight of your mangled armless torso. We'll use my reroll for that. Oh, okay. Three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. <coughs> and just now the full move the monster towards the resin dung ball. He's just going to go, hey, I miss you, resin dung ball. Oh, should I snap off his horn? No. Would you be upset? Yes. Scale of one to ten, how upset would you be? Uh, I murder you. All right. So it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Everyone's going to stand back up. Where his? I need his last AI card, Matt. You stole it. I did? Yeah, it's not here. I don't have it. I don't I don't have it, Josh. I don't have it. I gave it back to you. <laughs> um, I don't know where it is, Josh. Did you take it? Did you put it in the book? Check the book. Take a look. Here it is. Found it. I told you you had it. Um, can you reg it in there? Uh, they could. Uh, I want red, red to go One, in. two, three, four, five. Red's going to punch it. Falcon. Punch. So A plus typically for punch, right? Yes, eight plus for punching. Um, I have five accuracy, so that's going to negate all the pluses, so it's eight plus to hit. Okay. I haven't done a fist and tooth on him yet, so I want to get my specialization. It's a four. It's not, not a hit. Okay. A six and a three, that is a one hit. I'm going to take a step back at the end of my turn, by the way. One hit? Yep. Attacking the filthy claws. Take your filthy paws off my silky draws. That's a crit. Monster's tough claws spark. The impact surprises both the attacker and Dung Beetle Knight. Both suffer knockback five directly away from each other. Uh, if the attacker has three courage, they gain a survival. I don't. It's like something out of the Matrix. Yeah, Matrix. So there you go. And uh, Josh, who's up next? Uh, Green's going to go and snipe him because the trap guard's up. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
That's a five. That's a hit. You've activated my tarp card. So he's just going to move five spaces closer to you and then Six wave. spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then he's just waving like Forrest Gump on the boat to Lieutenant Dan. Right? Oddly specific, but I think it's it's accurate. Okay. So what's up next, Josh? Uh, Sentry Carapace. So Twitch can get all up in there. Two, three, four, five. They have to dash. I'm going to move them to this side. Okay. So that the ball doesn't hit them. So 3d10s. The first one is their survival. Oh, it's actually only should be 2d10s. So yeah. ignore the last d10. Okay. First one's a survival. The second one is their attack. Okay. So it is a uh, 3 plus for them to hit. Six plus to keep their survival. Okay. They, they keep the their survival and they, they hit. hit. All right. So what is the uh, sentry carapace? So it's three d tens. Three d tens. Three d tens. And uh, it it just needs to not be a, a a one on the first die. So the two other die are superfluous. It's the word of the day, Josh. Superfluous. Get in. It no, it's dumb. Eight six five. So that is eight six five. They gain a survival, but they're at max survival, so they're fine. So that's the end of our turn. It's so the monsters' turn. Monster control is going to pass from bleep to ramen. Uh, then let's see what else is going to happen. Uh, he's not going to power forward. He's going to draw no AI cards. So he's going to do a basic action. So he's going to target the closest stinky threat. Or the closest threat. Thank you, Ice Chamber. I, I forgot what the rest of that was. What? Eight six nine three. Oh, it's not a song. Eight six seven five three oh nine. No, no. Uh, rap song. Three six nine. Damn near fine. Give it to me. Sock it to me. One more time. Get low. Yeah. Get low. Get low. To the window. To the wall. Or there's two eight one, three three zero oh, eight zero zero. Fo. Hit Mike Jones up on the low. That, that, was, the, that was the other one. Or six seven eight triple nine eight two one two, that's Soldier Boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so um, he is attacking you. It's uh, Twitch rather, so it's three d tens. It is going to be a ten to hit them. We should just spend an afternoon calling all of the the songs from, calling all the numbers from songs. No. I mean eight six seven five three zero oh nine. Two eight one three three zero eight zero zero four. So one and eight and a seven. Those are three misses. Then he's gonna full move towards the poop ball. He's like, I'm going home with my ball, guys. Go away, you're mean. The important thing is just having hose in different area codes. That is that's very true. All right, I'm gonna try to punch it again. All right. Falcon. Oh no. Is that not enough, Josh? It's not. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run up and I'm going to stabby stab. I'm going to take a step back, by the way. Uh, one hit. Gim. This is the iridescent leg. I have all the one. You failed. The attacker is within three spaces of the monster they have grabbed and smashed into the ball. Place the attacker in the nearest unoccupied space adjacent to the resin dung ball. <sighs> they collide with it and suffer five damage to a hit location. To my feet. I just felt the agony of defeat right there. So I'm going to take a severe leg injury. Good job. It doesn't matter, Josh. I'm going to die anyways. Good job. Uh, okay. Roll the one. Do you have a reroll? Um, I probably do, but... Might as well uh, use it. Blood geyser. Blood shoots from the femoral artery at an alarming rate, killing you in seconds. So let me see if I have a reroll. Yes, I do have a reroll. I'm going to use my reroll. The three. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. I'm still bleeding. Bleedy, 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 bleedy. Bleeping's bleeding. All right. So who wants to go next? Um... Is there a good crit on that next one? Nope. 
I'll try it with. Don't sound too exciting. <sighs> I'm gonna hit it with three. Okay. I'm Seven. within five, right? Yeah. So six plus. Oh no, I shouldn't. I should have sniped. Too bad. Because I won't. You didn't. You didn't. Because it's a ten. Why is it a ten? Because minus. Oh no, I don't have the minus yeah, four. You don't, you don't right. have that. Uh, that's three hits. You're gonna nine nine six. You're gonna hit the trap card. <sighs> I have to hit this first. First up is the butt flies. The butt flies. So a swarm of butt flies gushes out from under the dung beetle knight's armor. Roll a d10 and add your courage. An eight. Is, it a is that greater than six? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you boldly ignore the flies and archive this card. Bye, flies. Don't bother Shoot me. Shoot fly. Don't bother me. Shoot fly. Don't bother me. And you're attacking the hidden mandibles, his lower mouth. He's got vagina dentata. It's a four. Is that uh, enough? That's an, yeah, that's enough. Do the calculation. Uh, four it. plus six is ten. Plus two is twelve. He's got eleven. There toughness. you go. So we kill him. Yay! But then I die. I die anyways. It hurts. Exist so good. Existence is pain. <coughs> All right. So uh, everyone except me is going to get plus one hunt XP and plus one level of weapon proficiency. So that's going to go there. They have a level of weapon proficiency. Josh, you have it as well. I also, don't get, yay. I don't get weapon proficiency because I never hit my fist. Mm, you didn't fist the monster, oh, huh? But I aged up. I got my third age. <coughs> Did you? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And now the, the group investigates the large resin dung ball in the network of tunnels beneath the battleground. Inside, they find a caustic but mineral-rich substance. Rolling aside the ball, they find passageways leading deeper underground. After collecting rewards, do spelunking of death. So since this is still during the showdown, I am still technically alive, yes. so I'm going to do the spelunking of death. You have a free spelunking of death. Uh, okay. Or else I need to pull the person out of the monster's belly. Okay. His so we do get our rewards first, though. So that's six okay. basic resources, four dung beetle knight resources, and two caustic preserved dung strange resources. One. So we got ourselves two, some scarab wings. Three. Some four. century fingernails, some scarab shell, and some underplate fungus. I like underplate fungus. It's good with Caesar. One, so we got some mystery meat. Two, Can you not throw them? Three, no, stop it. No, stop Four. it. Stop it. No, hand Five. them. Skull, a Six. monster hide, a monster hide, a broken lantern. Okay, thank you. Take the scarab wings. That's what the dung beetle knight's actually singing to you as you kill him. And that's what he's singing. And learn to fly again with my preserved caustic dung. All right, so now it's time. For me to go spelunking. I rolled a 10. So I get to do the Trial of Valor. I rolled a 3. You fail, but gain a courage. And then I die. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Should I try it with French onion? Uh, or keep the population? That's on you, boo boo. I'm going to keep the population. Yeah. All right, uh, roll a d10. Roll a d10. Learn to fry again. Learn to fry again. Someone else want to go get Crimson Jewel? I don't think we should, to be honest. The best person to do it would probably be ramen. <coughs> but, yeah. There's that. That's a seven. Why did I roll a d10? Uh, we get our survivor back. So hello, Splord. Okay. We pull him out. He's, he's all right. He's, he's not dead. He's all right. He was just wrapped up in the dung ball. Nobody worry about me. We just rolled him around a lot. And we got his gear. Well, that's good. Back, so, um, that. Got his gear back. Couldn't you have the belly person look for the jewel? I could. Let's, let's have him, let's have chat roll. Or should I roll? Let's uh, have chat roll since he was in the belly. He's kind of poopy. He's got minus one accuracy. <coughs> oh, so he's not bad fodder? He's not bad fodder. And he would give us more endeavors? He would. Do we get endeavors for your death or no? Why not? I just wasn't sure what the card said like this. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Uh, and it is... Um, It doesn't say. Uh, They rolled a three. 
Uh, you find the remnants of an abandoned resin dung ball. Gain one preserved caustic dung dung beetle night resource. Take this caustic dung. He does not have a reroll. I checked. Crap. Diabolic butterfly. Butterfly, not butterfly. You guys can give rerolls. That is true. Preserved dung. Do you like preserved dung? He has pity disorder too, so no big loss if he dies. Sure. It's a pity. You get it? Pity patter? I don't know. I don't I don't think so. Uh, is it time to go back to the settlement? Yep, we get to go back to the settlement. Abandoned Resin Dung Ball is the name of my Jerry Lee Lewis cover band. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh so what happens back at the settlement now, Josh? Uh, we have a settlement event. Chat, please pull in. Uh, no, 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 not the it's SC story. story. Yeah, it's not even, not even close to what you want. Uh, yep. Cracks in the ground. A low rumbling fills the settlement. Small cracks in the earth widen into fissures that belch up hot, foul-smelling vapor. Roll a d10! That's lovely. This is just real nice. It's really nice. It's a nice. No, because he technically pulled before we asked for it. Yep. Got to have the request after we ask for it. And they rolled a nine. Uh, you find a sharp stone in the rubble left from the quake. Gain one founding stone gear. Okay. That's not okay. That's fine. That's fine. So lingering effects. The cracks prevent all home endeavors. Does that mean we can't make babies? No, we can still make babies. Okay. Uh, the vapor improves breathing plus one to the result of nightmare training endeavors. Okay. Do we have hunt shrine? No. Do we have glorification? Nope. Okay. That's it. Uh, next up, Matt, is Birth of Color. What? What book is that? Uh, that's the Sun Soccer book. You never told me. So how am I supposed to it's know? It's People of the Sun, Matt. People of the Sun. I don't know. All right. What is it called? Birth of Color. Okay. And then what? what's the event called? Birth of Color. Okay. And uh, which event am I doing? Uh, Birth of the Colorblind. Oh, you have the one you were born? It's your birthday? All right, so the atmosphere becomes cold, and a black fog creeps from the sacred pool filling the settlement. Light from above rapidly flickers and bounces off of the fog in a spectacular fashion. The settlement looks as if it has been encased in a shimmering black jewel. The swollen eggs begin to crack, spilling a variety of translucent liquids. Small tentacles reach outward towards the light above, awakening the survivors' maternal instincts. They rush to the aid of the tiny entities, helping the ones that are ready into the world. It is a bizarre and beautiful moment that leaves much of the settlement in an emotional state. Nominate a survivor to be the vivisectionist. Who wants to be the vivisectionist? Uh, let's pick a random. Where's the pile of survivors? I got them here. This is weird. Good things or bad things? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, corn chowder. Will be it. Corn chowder. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, corn chowder, it gains the emotionless disorder. So what's the emotionless disorder? Uh, you can't get plus one strength tokens. Ooh. Uh, <coughs> corn chowder is not like the other survivors. While everyone is swept up in the moment, they begin to more logically examine the eggs and the infant entities. Noting that a cord attached to the infant's stomachs closely resembles a human umbilical cord, they get a strange idea. Gain the umbilical bank innovation and proceed to the discrete procedure. So, Josh, what is the umbilical bank? No idea. It's this card right here. So, the umbilical bank. It's like a uh, century bank. Uh, and that is, when a new survivor is born, you may add one life string strange resource to the storage. And then you can spend an endeavor to do the umbilical symbiosis, special innovate, pottery, three organs. 
Okay, so what's umbilical symbiosis? So that is nominate a survivor born this year to be the newborn. If the newborn has been purified, add one d10 when you synchronize. If the newborn child is a people children of the sun, add three d10 when you synchronize. Prepare for the procedure. Any amount of the following modifications can be implied by spending life string strange resources equal to the indicated number. Each modification may be applied once per umbilical symbiosis. If the synchronization is a failure, all modifications are lost. So you can spend these umbilical things for the following. So you spend one, newborn gains a plus strength. You spend one, newborn gains a plus accuracy. You spend four, newborn gains a plus luck. Ooh. You spend four, the newborn gains a plus evasion. You spend eight, select two different attributes. The newborn gains plus one permanently to each one. So uh, a plus... For three, a mineral-rich infusion relaxes the Sunstalker. It passes instinct patterns to the newborn. Draw seven fighting arts and select two for the newborn to gain. And then for three, replacing the life string as it dries increases the purity of the nutrient flow between the two entities. Add one d10 when you synchronize. And then finally, synchronize. Nominate a female survivor with at least one hunt XP to be the caretaker. Roll a d10, plus add any bonus d10 earned from steps one and two. So, one through three. Caretaker coughs by accident. So, bone witch gets added. Uh, 25 plus, you get uh, warriors of the sun. There's some other stuff in between. Interesting. So, that's a weird one. So, this is now where we want to make a bunch of babies. We want to get the resources. But first... Yeah, and you make you get the resources oh, when when they're born. When a baby is born, so okay. when a new survivor is born, you may add a life string strange resource to the sub, to the storage. But first is the discrete procedure. So corn chowder is doing a discrete procedure right now. Um, is corn chowder playing on someone's butt? Uh, the corn chowder rushes the infant deep into the fog. As they prepare their tools, a column of scorching light envelops them. They hear the popping of their fat and the wet cooing of the tentacled infant as they are incinerated, dead. Corn chowder died? Yes. What was the, is there a better roll? Yeah, six p plus is a great roll. Um, I'm going to use the re-roll. Okay. Have chat roll again. Yeah. So that was, that was not great. Uh, yeah, they're going to die. Can you get something worse? Um, yes. A two. Uh, the same thing. They're dead. The baby shoots light beams at them and melts them. Yeah, I killed corn chowder. I don't like corn. How do you not like corn chowder? I love corn chowder. Twice ice chamber. Twice. Um, so a six plus is learn learning nothing and realizing they must dispose of the evidence. Corn chowder grotesquely devours the infant. They gain the Sun Eater secret fighting art and their choice of plus one permanent strength or evasion. Polenta fried and butter is delightful. So, right. so corn chowder is dead? Corn, corn chowder is dead, unfortunately. Honestly, I don't like soup. Is soup style on? Uh, next up, we need the Spediculous book. That's Spediculous, Joshua. It's delicious. This is Sparta! And what do I mean you doing in this book? Uh, taken. Take! These broken ends. Taken. If the event was triggered during the showdown phase... No. If the event was triggered during the settlement phase, nominate a survivor whose name is next to Taken on the timeline. Uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Then erase the event. Okay. Roll a d10. Do, 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 do. Bow, bow. Let's see what they roll. And it is a four. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis is dead. Place haunted on top of the settlement event deck and draw it next settlement phase. So we have to do haunted. Okay. When you think about it, cereal is just breakfast soup. Breakfast gazpacho. I would say. Oatmeal is breakfast soup. All right, and last up, uh, we need D10 to be rolled. All right, D10's being rolled. And it's the Gorm Climber! What? 
gonna fight. I'll fight you. And a seven. Uh, do we have Hovel? No. The echoing cries carried on the wind wear out the returning survivors, reduce their insanity to zero. They must skip the next hunt to recover from their journey home. Okay. That's that. And uh, can you do me a favor mm. and write how this person died, please? Should we special innovate pottery? Uh, we can't do that yet, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this is where we're ending the stream at. Huh? This is where we're ending the stream. Okay. So thank you all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. Make sure you join us for all of our upcoming streams. On Monday, we're expecting to be doing a spotlight of 1001 Odyssey by Asmati Games. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. We got to preview it at PAX Unplugged. Super excited to try it out. It should be coming out soon. Tuesday next week, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we've got our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death going into Lantern Year. 10. And we're going to be finding the man on her. Ooh. Special encounter. That's why we can't do anything. Yeah, that's why we can't do anything else. And <laughs> then uh, next week at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, we've got our continuation of the board game goal. Where we try and figure out who is the best board gamer here at Twitch with a bunch of head-to-head -head games. Not just Twist, all of Twitch. That's, yeah, a little egotistical. Yeah. Uh, but the best way to make sure that you know what's going on is to follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us on our Discord channel where? Uh, we talk about games we're going to play on the gauntlet. Uh, technically, I have the belt. It was a three-way tie last night, but I have the belt because it was a tie, and the champ doesn't lose the belt in a tie, obviously. So there's that. Right? Sure. All right, so what else is going on? Uh, uh, we've got our table drive going, so if someone can please do that. Um, it shows you how you can get your Twitch handle and possibly a quote on the side of our new Carolina game table that we're working to get. Uh, and we're 25% of the way there, living on a prayer. Remember, if you've got Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. How long is the gauntlet going on for before there is a supreme victor? It's pretty much indefinite. We might do, like, an awards thing during our stream anniversary and declare, like, a gauntlet winner for that. Okay. Uh, but then it would continue on beyond that as well. Uh, if you are a regular subscriber, make sure you subscribe anyways because you get a bunch of chances to win giveaways here at Twist Gaming uh, every time we defeat a boss, which we are really close to defeating Dark Citadel finally. Uh, we are going to do a giveaway, and if you are the boss at the end of the stream where we beat a boss, you get to uh, get your own special giveaway there. Uh, Josh, anything else that you want to say? Well, enter. We have a giveaway up right now that yeah. we're going to pull in just a minute after we end the, str end the recording. All right, and uh, if you guys are watching on Video On Demand, make sure you join us live here for more chances to interact with the stream, uh, play along with us, and win some stuff here at Twist Gaming. But signing off for now, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone. Good night.